This is the bonding and structure, um, level two chemistry paper, um, two thousand and third. What's the two thousand and thirteen paper? This is question one C. The three dimensional diagram of ammonia is shown below. Circle the word that best describes the polarity of the molecule ammonia, in H three. It is polar. Okay. If you're in doubt, look at the symmetry. Think of if boy if thinking of genders helps you stereotypically you've got a girl in the middle and three guys around the outside and they're all pulling on the girl and lo and behold they pull her this way because there's no one over here to balance that out. If there was another hydrogen up here, the guys would all be pulling her in equally in different directions and therefore um, she wouldn't move anywhere, therefore she'd be nonpolar. Of course, you can swap the analogy around, have a guy in the middle, girls around the outside, whatever. Hopefully that helps. So, circle world with the describes the polarity, it is polar. Justify why. So, you need to talk about the bonds, so the fact that these bonds are polar bonds. The only way that bonds are nonpolar are when they are between two atoms that are the same. So, for example, if you have nitrogen to nitrogen, it's actually a triple bond like that, but that is a non-polar bond because they have the same electronegativity. Here, they are not the same, therefore it is a polar bond. You also then need to talk about the symmetry, the fact that this molecule is not symmetrical and therefore the dipole doesn't cancel out. Okay, justify your choice. NH3 is polar. Now you need to talk about the shape um, of the molecule and that sort of thing. I'll mention first bond polarity. So, NH bonds are polar as they have different electronegativities. Ammonia has three bonding regions and one non-bonding region. Giving it an underlying shape. of tetrahedral, excuse my English, and an actual shape of trigonal pyramid. This means the molecule is not symmetrical. Across all planes, 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 planes. Mind blank. Um, planes uh, making the molecule polar. Here is the answer schedule. So it's polar. NH bond is polar because of the difference in electronegativity. Shape is trigonal pyramidal, or trigonal pyramid, therefore they're not arranged symmetrically. This means the dipoles will not cancel. I did not mention about the dipoles not cancelling, let's just add that, so molecule is not symmetrical because making the molecule polar because the charges do not cancel out. That is an important thing to mention about 
the cancelling out of charges. Um, and that is the answer. So for achieved, you need to have the bonds being polar or you need to predict the polarity correctly with one piece of supporting evidence. So whether the bonds are polar or um, the molecule not being symmetrical. To get mirror, you need to have the difference in electronegativities between N and H and explain that those bonds are polar. So here it's not enough for me to just say NH bonds are polar. I had to say that they have different electronegativities. Or I need to link the spread of charge to the overall molecule polarity. So the idea that here the charges cancel out. That's the next question. Um, in C1, that one, the polarity of the molecule is explained and justified in terms of the regions of bond polarity and asymmetry. So that here I would mark as an excellent answer.